Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. So here is my second project using my new Digi uh, Steampunk Barbie. So this is a video response to uh, the thousand plus subscriber giveaway currently being hosted by Ashley Laura. And I will leave a link in the description box below so you guys can go check it out and play along too. She asked how you know like about a technique that we use in our crafting and I have really enjoyed recently creating digis sharing them with folks and using them in my projects so I thought why not share uh, one more project using my new digi and this is another steampunk uh, project and as you can see I started with steampunk spells paper which I received from Beth of Beth Scrapbook Room um, really pretty handmade flowers and funky colors. This is like a denim. Um, it looks like denim, but it's actually really soft. Um, and then this rust color with a green pearl center. These were both from Susumu, who is Nerdy Geek Crafter. I got these little sweet blue flowers down here, as well as down here. And this uh, little tiny light bulb, I don't know if you can make it out there, that those are all from uh, Song, who's Creation by Song here on YouTube. And these funky flowers, let's see, these two here, this mustard colored aqua, this red, and this dark burgundy, all were in a package that I got from uh, Joyce, who's loved that paper's, I think 215? I could be wrong on the numbers. Um, but I, when I, as soon as I saw them, I thought, ooh, perfect for the steampunk papers, all the right colors, you know? Um, and I created this thinking about kind of that fantasy steampunk world, and this steampunk Barbie is actually a fairy, and she is a member of a faction in her little world that are the really smart intelligentsia. Um, and they hold the keys to the, um, you know, the important places in their world. They're the key masters. That's what I would call them. <laughs> and they can fly. I use this bling, this gunmetal bling down here to show that she's actually kind of flo floating. Um, I colored her up, obviously, with um, Copics and Chromatics. Um, I also used a little bit of the white jelly roll pen just to get, get some highlights in her hair. I used glossy accents for her little binoculars <clears throat> and her eyes, as well as her boots. And what else? Oh, and down here I also use this really cute little, um, I think it's molded out of clay and then papered over top and glossy accents and little uh, bling. That was a gift from Yorlis, who's Yorlis07. Uh, I got had this little metal button sticker as well as this owl up here. And I'm saying that the owl is like the mascot of their little faction that, because um, they're wise old owls, you know. So if they're the smart faction in their world, <laughs> I thought the owl would be there, a good mascot for them. And Oh, and down here at the bottom, just to add some more kind of metal work kind of going all throughout, I added some uh, corners, metal corners, that I think I got, there are seven gypsies. Um, and that's really it. I really like how it turned out. It was lots of fun to use the new Digi and transform her, and uh, I hope you guys uh, play along in the challenge, and if you'd like the free Digi, you can... Uh, check out my blog. It's a free download. I'll put a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.